right area having uh, pain and uh, my first uh, impression from uh, taking a taking a picture taking a radiograph uh, was that number three was having a problem since uh, it had a uh, separated file in the tooth but her concern was uh, if we are uh, able to uh, save number two uh, tooth uh, where it had a crown and a radiolucency on top and then it looks like some kind of a decay um, and uh, so her concern was number two and her pain was coming from number two after we uh, tested it the uh, chewing was sensitive to number two number uh, three had a bridge with a separated file but uh, it was asymptomatic so we decided to leave it alone uh, first of all, there's four roots on number three, which is interesting. And then on number two, it looks like there is some kind of a uh, medication in the canals. Uh, there's looks like a temporary filling and then a crown. So at some point in the past, she didn't remember. She had um, uh, the tooth um, uh, done, uh, uh, had the pulpotomy done. And then they put a crown on top of it, which was confirmed. Uh, or when I went through the crown, I saw the temporary filling and saw that uh, it placed a uh, crown on top of a temporary filling. So then we went ahead and uh, finished the case. Um, there's some lateral canals that were filled. And as you can see, the lingual is calcified. That's uh, one of the downfalls of having a uh, medicated medications. Uh, in, uh, inside the canals for too long, like calcium hydroxide causes um, calcification, especially in uh, uh, teenagers and children uh, that uh, happens very quickly.